What does gender affirming or queer positive healthcare mean to you as a Asian person? Yeah, I think basically like healthcare that is intersectional and that kind of recognizes all of the different aspects of like yourself and like what it means to access healthcare. Like being like an international student, it's been hard to like first of all access healthcare because a lot of times like when I go to like health and wellness at the university, they're like, oh, you need to have like a reference from like a family doctor or something. And I'm like, well, I'm an international student. Um, I don't have a family doctor in Canada. There's also like recognizing those like barriers, but then also just being cognizant of like, these are all the things that I'm carrying with me. I think also like being aware of the fact that a lot of queer people and like people of color are not comfortable with like the healthcare system as it stands and like a lot of doctors like growing up for me I guess like I had a doctor who was um, South Asian and so like I think my mom and her like they kind of connected but then also they had the same sort of like stigmas and taboos and stuff like that like I my mom didn't want me to get like the HPV vaccine because she was like oh you're not going to be going around having sex like why would you need it like blah 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 but it also you know protects against cancer <laughs> and so it's just like kind of that was a I feel like an ethnic maybe barrier to that because it was like why do you need vaccines against STIs you're not having sex and like whatever like and I think it's also maybe like a Catholic thing <laughs> um, but yeah I think just kind of like recognizing those experiences growing up I guess like positive healthcare would be taking into consideration all of those things. Yeah, you're saying for it to be queer, trans inclusive, it has to also be like intersectional and aware of. Like you can't do those things if you're not recognizing that people are bringing all the things that you just mentioned. Yes, because even like being queer, like yeah, your race and like ethnicity and like financial background also affects how you interact with the healthcare system. So it's not one size fits all by any means. And I, yeah, and I think also a lot of healthcare kind of focuses on like heterosexual sex care. Cause also like, that was like the thing my mom was like, oh, why do you need the HPV vaccine? You're not having sex, but it's like, what if I can also have sex with women? Like, or, you know, people that might not, I don't know. So yeah, that was also just like keeping that in mind. And then people might not grow up with like that, like inclusive mindset. So then they don't even know that there's like, you know, sex, care, like healthcare, sexual healthcare available. That's like inclusive, I guess.